Hi guys, welcome to the uh, first pickups, anime pickups for the month of April 2014. Uh, this is Psycho Pass. I briefly uh, showed you guys <laughs> uh, this one yesterday as I was fortunate enough to get one of the boxes that wasn't crooked or wasn't too tight. Um, apparently, from what I understand now, is that if you buy this set brand new now and not before, uh, so basically what happened is the replacement cases were sent out for those who bought the set previously, the crooked one. Apparently those ones are too tight, but if you buy the set brand new now, like you've never owned the set before, you go out and buy it brand new now, you won't get a set that's too tight or too crooked. So I I was just fortunate. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, Noi Tom on his show, I think it was like 2011, maybe 2012, uh, done by Production IG. One of the best Noi Tom on his shows from what I've heard, it's uh, in the recent uh, poll down in Japan, a majority of the characters from the show were rated as some of the best to ever appear in any Noi Tom on his show, so that uh, is quite exciting. I definitely know I love this show, a sci-fi, cyberpunk action series, you know, production IG you know what they're doing with that since they pretty much invented that in a way it feels like with a Ghost in the Shell movie. Um, so really looking forward to watching this, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of the best series possibly I've seen in a long time, so yeah, that's Psycho Pass. Okay, uh, next up we got Mars and Kaiser SKL, this is a Blu-ray put out by Anime Works. Uh, this is an OVA, 2010 OVA series, which is, I believe, a sequel to a 2001 OVA series, which is also, which is, that itself was a sequel to Mars and Z. Um, which has a ton of OVAs and sequels based around it. Mazaga Z is coming out from Discotech. It's a giant robot uh, show uh, from the 70s, uh, Toei Animation. One of the most famous uh, big robot, giant robot shows. Uh, very, very much a classic and it's very exciting that Discotech are putting it out. And this is, I think, pretty much the only other thing from the Mazinga Z franchise in particular that came out in America or whatever has been released in English officially so uh, I decided to pick this up this is a 2010 OVA series it hasn't had the greatest of reviews it's only 75 minutes long it wasn't very expensive so I decided to get it anyway uh, next up we got Rama one half which I've had to balance on the uh, psycho pass set because it won't stand on its own <laughs> but anyway this is Rama one half on blu-ray from Viz Media really really happy that Viz Media have decided to put this out when uh, when those uh, free Rumiko Takahashi shows were announced for Blu-ray in Japan. I was really disappointed they didn't have English subtitle support. I would have thought there was a chance since the Blu-rays that were released in Japan were actually zone free or region free. So yeah, it was a shame they didn't decide to buy the scripts from the America and you know put them out with subtitle support. But I can see why. But uh, Viz Media have actually brought Rama One Half to us on Blu-ray, at least the first box set. Anyway, I'm really hoping they'll complete the uh, seven sets you never know with this media they're not the most trustworthy and like i said in the uh, video when i unboxed this but uh yeah it's a really nice set the video quality is amazing like absolutely outstanding um this is one of the most exciting things with uh, old shows like traditional cell animated shows is that they look amazing on blu-ray assuming there's a good enough uh, film print out there for them because i noticed quite a few japanese cell shows uh, Japanese releases of cell shows have been getting upscales, which is really offensive to me and probably the community as a, as a whole. But if the film print's not there, I suppose that's okay. But anyway, yeah, Rama One Half, you pretty much know all about it. I'm sure most of you have bought it. Amazing show. Uh, I'm looking forward to experiencing it for the first time, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. So, Rama One Half. Uh, so, onto the DVDs, we've got uh, Chrome Shelled Regius, Regius. Regius, I, Regius, I don't know. But anyway, this <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know once I watch the show. But uh, yeah, this is a 2009 show from Zexis, a product by Funimation. This was one of the first uh, limited editions that Funimation did back in 2011, along with Black Butler and Phantom, Reckoning of the Phantom. Pretty much the first three they did. Oh, and Sacred Blacksmith as well. Uh, but yeah, traditional action, shonen, military, post-apocalyptic affair with big monsters as far as I'm aware. Seemed okay, um, this is you know out of print now, but I was lucky to get an eBay auction on the cheap for it and I decided to go for it rather than getting the traditional complete collection. So yeah, that's Chrome, Chrome Shell Regius. Ok, 
Okay, so the next thing I picked up is uh, Shangri-La. Uh, this is a show I've wanted to get for a while, and I know it hasn't sold very well, but um, it isn't the best received show. It doesn't have the greatest reputations, but I really wanted to see it. Uh, Sci-fi, action, futuristic. Uh, the character designer is uh, Ronge Murato. He's one of my absolute favorite uh, Japanese artists. He does some amazing work, like combining Art Deco with anime characters. It always looks amazing. Um, and this is one of the four shows he's collaborated with Gonzo for. Uh, he did Last Exile, Salty Ray, and uh, Blue no Submarine Number Six, and obviously Shangri La. Um, so yeah, I'm really. I think this will be a good show. Like again, I know it doesn't. All, it doesn't have the greatest reputation. And it might not be that great, but I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna like it. It's not just the character the design. I've seen some screenshots. I watched the trailer. It looked cool enough. So hopefully, I will enjoy it in the end. She she. <laughs> I've, I've waited way too damn long to go in this show. This is the Funimation Complete series or Complete Collection release. There's a multitude of releases for this. There's a save edition, two Viridian collections, and an art box. I'd have liked the art box, but uh, that one was a bit too expensive, so I decided to go for this. If you're not buying the save edition in 2014 for the original Mushishi, because obviously there's a second season coming soon, but uh, if you're not buying the save edition for this, then uh, you're spending a lot of money. <laughs> so, but yeah, even though I'm like downgrading a lot of art boxes, I really like the art box for this because it's a very nice set. And I knew I would love this show. I can't believe it's taken me so long to get it. I've already watched half of it and I loved it. Um, it's a, it it's just really really awesome. Just it's exactly the sort of show that I like. It's kind of like a weird Japanese version, spiritual version of House, like MD House or something. <laughs> it's it's really really cool. Um, and it's uh, got some fantastic art style. I just really love it. The soundtrack is great. The opening, it, fully in English, but really, really cool. Just something about it I find incredibly endearing, and I feel like an idiot that I've taken this long. When I add shows like High School D&D to my collection, and this wasn't in my collection before, I feel like, what am I doing? So, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Mushishi in the collection now. Can't wait for the second season. That's going to be cool. I think the second season's already started, I think. Or has it? I can't remember. Maybe. Uh, but there's an OVA as well. Anaplex re uh, license the second series. Hopefully once Funimation's license is up, they'll put the first season out on Blu-ray, which would be cool. And finally, I picked up seasons 2, 3, and 4. Volumes 2, 3, and 4. For Fist of the Fricking North Star. Shonen epic from Toei Animation from the 80s. Uh, really looking forward to this. Um, it's ridiculous how long it's taken me to get this, like I picked up season 1 here like back in February last year and I just dragged my feet getting the, the last three sets and it was only when the complete collection release for Fist of the North Star got announced and put out by uh, Disco Tech where I decided, you know, I don't really want that, I want the four box sets and I'm glad because the complete collection in my opinion is a bit of an ugly set. But yeah, I wanted the four box sets because they look really cool on the shelf. Although, weirdly, uh, the fourth season, or the volume four, I mean, which is actually Fist of the North Star 2, um, the printing on the logo, like, smaller for some reason, and the uh, picture on the top of the spine is also doesn't actually fit the spine, it's not wide enough, which is a bit annoying. And as you can see, like, volume one's also a different colour, but you can see there, like, the volume four picture doesn't fit the spine like it does the other two sets but that's oh three sets even but that's okay like I'm really nitpicking there but I thought I'd just share that because I, I was like oh man that doesn't that's kind of annoying but again not even close to the end of the world but uh, something that is the end of the world or at least the story is fits in an all star so yeah I'm really looking forward to watching it I will get around to it hopefully sometime in the next month or so I will start getting through the sets but yeah this is everything I picked up from so Mushishi, Shangri-La, Fist of the North Star from Pre-Collection, Crone Shell, Regius, and uh, Ram the One Half, Mizen Kaiser SKL, and finally Psycho Pass, and that's everything. But I also have two other uh, pickups probably this month because I have a big box which I'm going to do an unboxing for of awesome OVAs, so I'll see you next time.